Okay, I'm uh, taking and uh, doing a little drawing from uh, Van Dyke head. And there's a couple of heads as you can see, but uh, it's one focusing. Now, going through the basic steps that I normally go for drawing a head and thinking in what the main reason for doing this uh, drawing now is following through with some of the uh, discussions in doing the skull and feeling the uh, overall construction. Uh, we can't see much of the uh, jaw, of course, because he's got all his beard up there. But we can see the corners down, corner of the eye socket. And notice how this really got a deep set eyes back in here. So we're really feeling from the corner here. What we're getting the tone here is the central plane and so that this section here of the globule uh, we can't see but we can feel the nose is coming out in the skulls i was drawing from uh, we had a, a strong a set down but now this guy's got a really high bridge to the nose, uh, thinking proportions, bottom of the nose is halfway, the bottom of the lower lip would be halfway, and so now I'm coming down through and we can feel the way the hair is coming over this, at this point the head is, is turning, so we're going over, again, uh, we can feel come down through side here, the side of the beard, and we're seeing the ear back in here. So already at this point now, if we look in here and we see that the eye, remember is that the eye is an eyeball. And so the eye lid would be inside. Uh, we can feel the way it's come down. We've got a cast shadow coming down through the side and that helps to really define the plane. And through, uh, we can feel where the bone is coming in, and the end of the nose coming through. And now, the strong characteristic here is that we feel the corner here of the. Uh, And here we're actually getting some tone behind the corner of the jaw. And we start to pull down. The neck is pulling back. Here we get a the hair coming around behind, coming over. And all of this is now taking back. Now, doing this, I would be taking in here at first, it be a little bit bolder. I want to feel these forms coming down. You can see he's using folds coming across, and we can see the center here. Like I say, I'm not trying to copy every little variation that we see there, but I'm just using it like I would a model. And this is really like a like a quick sketch, actually. But what I wanted to say is I'm doing, say, in a sense, studying from uh, Van Dyke. And that's the way he studied. He copied many, many of uh, Rubens. Okay, I think that gives you a good sense of the idea 
but it's really all built on the structure. It's structure understanding the skull underneath allows me to take and deal with the features and the things that are on top. And so I constantly building and working on on building the structure going over the surface of the form. Okay. So that's uh, like 29 minutes of drawing.